Vectors in Equilibrium Chapter Number Two Numerical Solution. This video includes numerical 2.7 and 2.8 from the second chapter. We will solve these two numericals. The first one is find the magnitude of the forces provided by the support A and B. F shown a balance condition. While the second one is three forces are acting on a body. Find the magnitude of their resultant. Let's begin with the first one. Statement of the numerical is find the magnitude of the forces provided by the support A and B. If shown a balance condition, weight of the plank is 500 newton and it is uniform in shape. Weight of the block is 100 newton and weight of the student is 500 newton. This is support A. This is support B. This is plank. This is the block and this is the girl. The weight of the student is 500 Newton. The total length of the plank is 1 plus 3 plus 1 equal to 5 meter. The distance of this girl from this support A is 0.5 meter. The distance of this block from this support B is 0.5 meter. And the distance of this block from this support A is 2.5 meter because the distance from here to here is 3 meter. 3 meter minus 0.5 meter we will get 2.5 meter. Now this plank is in a balanced condition. We will determine the force provided this support A and this support B. The center of mass of this plank will be somewhere here at 1.5 meter. Here in the midpoint. This total is 5 meter and the midpoint of 5 meter is 2.5 meter. So the center of mass of the plank is, is 2.5 meter and this 2.5 is actually 1.5 meter away from this support A. Let's solve this numerical. First we will apply the first condition of equilibrium. And the first condition of equilibrium is that the sum of all the forces acting on a body is equal to zero mean if this plank is in a balanced condition then the sum of all the forces acting on this plank will be equal to zero now we know this plank is in a balanced condition so fg force due to this girl or due to this student plus fp fp is the force due to this plank and which is 500 newton this one Fw is weight of this block in which is 100 Newton where we will determine the normal force which is provided by the support A and this support B. The sign of this Fa and Fb is minus because these forces are in the upward direction or these are normal forces and are acting opposite to the direction of the other three forces. The sum of these forces will be equal to zero now substituting the values for fg mass of the student which is 500 newton fp is the weight of the plank or the force due to the mass of the plank which is 500 newton and fw is the weight of the block which is 100 newton minus fa and minus fb these two forces are unknown we will determine these forces adding of all these terms 500 plus 500 plus 100 we will get 1100 Newton minus Fa minus Fb is equal to 0. Now shifting this minus Fa and minus Fb to the right side of the equation we will get Fa plus Fb is equal to 1100 Newton. Name this as equation number 1. We will later need this equation. This equation represents the sum of force Fa and Fb and is equal to 1100 Newton. Now let's apply the second condition of equilibrium. The second condition of equilibrium is that the sum of all the torques acting on a body is equal to zero or the sum of all the clockwise torques will be equal to the sum of all anti-clockwise torques. Now let's consider the support A as a pivot. Consider this point as a pivot. 
and apply second condition of the equilibrium so the sum of all clockwise torques will be equal to sum of all anti clockwise torques now here the torque due to this student tg will be anti clockwise will be downward similarly the torque due to this tb tb will be the torque produced due to the force applied by this support b we represent that by tb this tb is upward which mean this is counter clockwise similarly this one is counter clockwise where tg represent the torque due to this student tb represent the torque on due to the force applied by this support tw represent the torque due to this block and tp represent the torque due to the weight of the plank so the torque due to the weight of the plank is clockwise and the torque due to the block is clockwise the torque due to the student is anti clockwise and the torque due to this support b is also counter clockwise so tg plus tb is equal to tw plus tp now substituting the values 0.5 is the radius this r and 500 is the weight of the student so 0.5 multiply by 500 plus 3 multiply by fb 3 is the radius or the moment arm from support a to support b which is represented by this 3 m and this rb is 3 meter 3 meter multiply by fb we will determine the value of fb fb is unknown is equal to 2.5 multiply by 100 2.5 is the moment arm of the block from here to here is represented by this rw and 100 is the weight of the block so r cross p 2.5 multiply by 100 plus 1.5 multiply by 500 1.5 represent the radius r of center of mass this is 1.5 is the center of mass of the plank and the weight of the plank is 500 newton now solving this equation for fb 0.5 multiply by 500 we will get 250 plus 3b is equal to 250 plus 750 now this 250 will cancel out with this 250 and 3 fb will be equal to 750 now dividing 750 by 3 we will get 250 newton so fb is the force provided by the support b and is equal to 250 newton now substituting the value of fb in this equation number 1 we will determine the value of fa fa plus fv is equal to 1100 newton fa is equal to 1100 minus fb which is equal to 1100 minus 250 250 is the value of this fb 1100 minus 250 is equal to 850 and fa the force provided by the support a is equal to 850 newton while the force provided by the support b is equal to 250 newton this is our answer numerical number 2.8 three forces are acting on a body as shown find the magnitude of their resultant and also state in which plane the final result lies this is the x axis this is the y axis and this is the z axis the forces along the x axis is represented by fx and is equal to 6 newton the forces along the y axis is 8 newton and this force is only in the y direction and is represented by fy 0i mean 
that the force in the x direction due to the fy is zero and it is and this fy is only in the y direction fz is equal to 5z which is in the z direction now find the magnitude of the resultant for finding the magnitude of the resultant we know that the sum of all the forces represent the resultant this f the resultant force will be equal to fx plus fy plus fz now adding all of these three we will get f is equal to 4i plus 8j plus 5z now for calculating the magnitude of these forces we will use f is equal to we know that the magnitude of this vector or these forces is equal to x square plus y square plus z square x is 4 y is 8 and z is 5 substituting the values for x y and z and taking under root we will get is equal to whole under root 6 square plus 8 square plus 5 square which is equal to 111.2 newton the part b of the problem is also state in which plane the final resultant lie so the final resultant lie in all the three planes x y and z plane because we know the force have component in the i mean in the x plane in the y plane and in the z plane so the force f lie in the x y z plane thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and comment your questions thank you